Hey folks, so it's been probably about four years, three to four years since we all were dicking around on decentralized exchanges and um, I know, or well, I've recently uh, bought a, a bunch of Tau Inu uh, or Tau Nu, uh, which is the ticker, but it's Tau Inu um, and a lot of people uh, were a bit, I guess, clueless of how to get it because when you go to coin gecko it says it's on uniswap so i thought let's do a little refresher uh, of how you do it because it's not as simple as you know buying something on mexi so the, the first thing i want to mention is that if you just type in uniswap to google you've got to be really careful because a lot of people create fake websites and pump it with ppc to get it at the top um and you know they may use weird characters so what you can do is if, you, if you're not sure is copy the link copy clean link uh, open up a notepad control V and just see if it's you know real letters so like the A looks like that not like um, how you would normally spell it um, if it looks like a normal A um, it's using like a Greek Cyrillic type uh, letter so yeah I'm, I'm happy that this is the the proper one but it's worth book marking it so once you're here remember it's like a yeah it's a, it's a swap place it's not like a, there's no order book that you can try and look at like on mexi you're simply swapping stuff uh, peer to peer effectively so you first need to you know log into your metamask etc uh, and then connect it so i've already logged in i've what i've done is i've funded this account with 20 grand's worth of um eth um, go away please um, and I'm just gonna dick around with this ETH um, just to, this part of my this is w one of my personal pots uh, so I'm just gonna dick around with uh, um, some micro nano caps just for just why not <laughs> so first of all we're looking at uh, Tau Inu and it's had a bit of a dip I got in basically from down here to about up here was the last you know basically my entries were all of this price here unfortunately even though I started down here and we've got a bit of low test here actually um, so we could have a bit of legs and I guess like I said with micro or nano caps is you you really don't want to start phasing out until you've made at least a 20x so you know this is way 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 up um, so I mean it's not even a million dollar market cap at the moment so yeah so if it gets to say 10 million dollar market cap this would be quite a fun project so uh, but yeah so this is what I'm looking at so what I want to do is I want to find Tau Uno it's already on the list um, I've already got a bunch of Tau by the looks of it Tau Inu or Tau Nu uh, I thought I did okay so first of all let's let's actually import the token uh, that's probably a good place to start so open up coin gecko and find the the ticker so tau nu so tau inu there you go so there's two ways you can either click the little fox and it'll do it automatically or you can do it the old-fashioned way and the old-fashioned way is you copy the contract address you go to tokens import tokens you go to custom token control v there we go tau new next looks like we've already got some import there we go um and there there you have it you've got some tau new there i only put like six hundred dollars in um so that's that now let's get back to this warning hasn't traded in on leading blah 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 yet just warning stuff don't worry too much and you need eth uh, for this or tether but yeah, in fact, you can see here when you go to markets that yeah, wrapped ETH or you know um, ETH on debt on uh, Uniswap is best. But when you look at the depth, it's absolutely pitiful. So, um, and what you'll find is that um, if by default it's on auto in terms of slippage, and sometimes your trade may not actually work if let's say you've put on auto or let's say you've put it on you know half a percent and there's more slippage than that the trade just won't go through um so let's leave it on auto for the moment and let's say i want to put one ethan 
and this is where shit's pretty annoying because what will happen is effectively if I, if I do this in tether actually you'll see what I mean so one tether you're getting the price of roughly 87 okay which is the current price but look how quickly you get negative slippage $100 88 eight. that's quite a big jump that's like just there and that's only a hundred dollars a thousand dollars eight nine see so pushing the price up to here and that's just a thousand dollar buy um, and then ten thousand 101 so you'd literally just spike it all the way up here so you know just ten thousand dollars worth it just pushes the price up here and then it will just return um, so yeah it's annoying but on the flip side because it's ethereum you're going to be paying like ten dollar gas fees <laughs> which is just ridiculous so um and it's a bit harder to see when you're doing in eth um so two thousand odd dollars yeah you'd have to sort of work it but um yeah I'm, I'm happy just to spike the price a tiny bit just for this video now when you do this for the first time um you'll have to approve it on your trezor now um on, uh, it's actually pretty cheap. I've already done that, um, and actually for this wallet, I actually uh, haven't got the trezor. So this is my what I call a liquid wallet, which with no trezor. Um, don't worry, there is a chunk of money in here. It's my sort of transitory wallet. I won't be keeping you know this much in it. Um, so there we go. I need to review the swap. Sorry, I was clicking too many things there. Come on. Because I was, let's start again. Um, yeah, it failed because I was clicking all sorts of things. Let's do that again. Swap, confirm the swap. There we go. Confirm. There we go. Oh, so it's pending on chain. There we go. And normally you'll see a little pop up down here once it's gone through. There we go, swapped one ETH for 2.33. There we go, and I spiked the price up a teeny weeny bit. So there we go, and then you can just keep on doing that. So that went through, I just want to double check that nothing else is pending. So you can always go to, yeah, so the first one failed, the second one worked, and there we go. So I'll just do another one, just for shits and giggles. Uh, try using higher than normal slippage. So here we go. So in this case, if if that if that happens, it means that there's just not enough. Oh yeah, price has gone up a little bit higher now. Um, so what you can do is try doing a custom one and go right. I'm going to accept, you know, maximum of two two dollars. Sorry, two percent slippage. There you go. Pending on chain. Sorry, it threw me for the first time because it's ETH. Everything takes forever. Um, there we go. That's a couple of ETH into into this, and that went through. So yeah, playing with uh, your um, MetaMask. It's uh, all old school fun and games. It feels like I'm playing with the internet on a 56k uh, dial-up modem. But hey ho. Anyway, hope this helps. Also, more importantly, I just almost forgot. Um, whenever you finish playing with Dexes and MetaMask, you always have to log out of it. So um, I, I tend to just out of paranoia do it on both ends. So I always try and disconnect on the actual web uh, Web three platform. So you can see it's logged me out there, and then close the site. But you're still connected, so be careful. So if you go to your um, MetaMask and click the little three uh, menu, uh, dots for the menu. If you go to connected sites, guess what? Still connected. Disconnect. Now, the other, also, if you're connecting uh, to Uniswap with a Trezor uh, based thing, you'll have to, um, it's not, yeah, you'll have to basically approve the purchases before you can actually approve them. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, it looks like I've, I've pushed the price up a tiny bit, but hey ho. Um, as I said, 
uh, sorry, and also lock it. Um, yeah, I, I need, I'm looking for at least a 20x. If I'm going to expose super risk capital, I basically want um, so 10x would be a thousand percent. So yeah, we're looking at something like that to sort of the two cent area. Um, and don't think it. And also, it's not a crazy thing. So if Tau does what we think it is, I'm sure some sort of dog themed bullshit coin is also going to do well um, because if you look at the market cap it's teeny weeny um, you'd have to effectively just work out the price I think it's like a million dollars so if you look at um, you know say it's a billion dollars circulating it's actually a little bit less because they've burnt some uh, times the price which is zero zero one it's a million dollar market cap so I guess uh, yeah, 10x uh, would be 10 million, 20x would be 20 million dollar market cap. But then if you go to the categories and go to I know dog themed coins, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, even the you know there's there's obviously a lot of shit ones, but if you look at market caps, you know even if it gets to uh, I mean, there's so many market, you know, dog themed coins, which, again, all, all of this is bullshit. But look at this: three, four, fourteen million, um, twenty. And if one really does do well, um, like I remember, I used, I made a bit of money with Kishu. It's twenty-four million dollars now, but look what it did do. This hit over two hundred million. <laughs> So yeah, we, we made a fair bit of that in um, in that pump. Oh, I don't think it was that pump. It was probably this pump here. But anyway, right, I hope this finds you well.